Welcome to a new video by the DSPRC. I have the SCX24 in front of me. If you guys have been following a little bit on the build for this guy here, you'll notice that in the past videos, I did the bumper upgrade and the bumper mount upgrade. I have the, the diff cover upgrade in brass. I have the knuckles in brass too. And I have the skid plate in brass, when brass are in aluminum. And I do have the hot racing shock upgrade, a lot better than stock. And I do have the RC four wheel drive uh, beadlock rims. And I did print, uh, not me, one of my buddies printed it for me, uh, the rock sliders that he grabbed on Thing Universe, if I remember correctly. If you ever need anything that's 3D printed, they do have a lot of files uh, shared there. That's for this vehicle. Uh, the rock slider, this was one version. There's a couple of versions out there. There's snorkel. Uh, there is, yeah, the, you can't really see it, but there is the spare tire mount that's printed in 3D that's bolted to the back. But today I want to show you the uh, black aluminum fixed steering link rod for the ACX24 from Hot Racing. And the reason I wanted to upgrade it is because this guy here is extremely flimsy. And this is like solid. At first I did not want to use the chrome or uh, silver screws. I wanted to use the black one, but fortunately the pivot balls are stuck to the screws itself. Uh, I will need to reuse these guys here. And to make it a little bit easier, I did remove the servo horn off the vehicle. Now be careful when, if you do that, there is a spring behind it. That's your servo saver. Have to be careful. And the other thing too, you have to be careful with these guys here. Um, these balls that's inside, there is two different size for it. Let's see if she's going to want to focus. Yes, she is. Well, you see this, the size of this guy here, you flip it, the other side is very smaller. You want your bolt head to be on the big side. The reason you want this, because these guys are hold, hold down with uh, basically O-rings black o-rings and i'll show you why because on this arm here it needs to sit on the vehicle like this that way you see hot racing there is a logo on it not sure if it's going to want uh, a little bit better now you see it right there this bolts the behind here and the big sides here and the small sides right there and the reason again you don't want that o-ring to pop out I'm just going to grab something that goes in the middle of this ball. I'm going to go on the small side and I'm just going to push it and you'll see it, it'll pop off. Now let's remove the, the ball, put the o-ring aside, pop this out. See the o-rings right here. They're very easy to lose. When you're doing this, make sure you're on a big surface. If it flies off that way, it's easier to find. Now, what we're going to do is put the small one in first. Then just slide the O-ring on top of it. Like you're basically turning your thumb around or your finger and it's back in. Now we're going to take our servo saver. Go by behind. able to do it this way here screw this guy in the back there you go now this way because the big guy the big sides on this here it won't pop out because you cannot if you insert your your screwdriver or your straight pick to the big one here, you won't be able to pass it through because this is bigger than the hole. I'm guessing, I'm a, 
hot racing when they <laughs> built these they built them wrong <clears throat> now let's go back to the vehicle well grab this first let's uh build it here first screw this guy in here And they did the same thing for one of the set of the, sh the shocks. If you listen to my, sh the, the, when I install the shocks on the vehicle itself, I do say you have to flip one side of your shocks because the same issue happens, happen there too. And these screws are very small. I'm just gonna you know you can't really see it but it's the same way you just did your first one when you remove this one here it's gonna be the same now when you do remove your servo horn off of it try to keep your servo as straight as possible or do not remove the other part of the servo saver that's still on the servo. I'll try to show you in a second here. You see, if you do move your servo, you'll need to realign it. There we go. <clears throat> Not sure you'll be able to see it here. But the other part is still right here. This is the other part of the servo. I don't really don't think she'll be able to focus. There's a lot of black concentrated there. It was a servo, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you remove just the top part, you'll be fine. Now we're gonna reinsert our my spring here. There we go. Grab our 1.5 screwdriver. Give her a screw in. And gonna be able to reinsert it. Don't want to put it too tight. And there we go. We have the hot racing steering link. A lot better than the stock one. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad, the stock one, but it is flimsy. If you're trying to climb a certain rock, it might start bending, things like that. But there you go. You have the black aluminum fix link steering rod SCX24. If you have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up in the corner. I do appreciate it and it does help a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.